So welcome back to a brand new PDCGO Rebel Clash video. Today, guys, we're taking a look at the brand new Electrifier today. And this card is pretty cool. So with the attack Electrified Bolt, it does 90 damage. And if it has any special energy attached to it, it does 180. Uh, which is cool because, of course, we do have some pretty good special energy uh, for Electrovire. We do have the Capture Energy, and we also have the new Speed Light Energy here, which is an amazing card in this deck. So, Electrovire, not a bad card. It hits pretty hard, um, and uh, you special energy with it. And the nice thing about it, you play an E-Power and a Vitality Band, it one-shots Zacian V. That's another cool little interaction this card does. Uh, it's a nice little uh, non-GX Lightning Attacker, and uh, it's pretty cool. It can hit pretty hard. Um... And this is the list I've gone with here. I will say this. Uh, in the videos I recorded, I didn't have a boss's order in the deck. Uh, the games I got, though, were pretty good. I showed off the deck pretty well. So, And I didn't even need the boss's order. I didn't even realize I didn't have boss's order. I only had a great catcher. No boss's order. I completely forgot about boss's order in the deck. So this is the version with the boss's order. All I did was take out a Guzma Hall. I had two in the deck originally. But yeah, I didn't have boss's order in here originally. Now I do in this deck preview. So this is what you want to copy and paste. The deck I played with didn't have boss's order. Again, it didn't even make a difference. So I genuinely didn't even need a gust the entire game. So I'll just say that right now. So yeah, before we get the video, guys, of course, check out to the sponsor, Car Cabin TCG. So those guys, if you're looking to get yourself any PDCGO codes, uh, you can pick them up over at Car Cabin. Of course, if you're also looking to maybe trade in any unused codes or if you have any cards you don't need anymore, you can also trade them in at Car Cabin TCG. They'll be, they will give you some cash slash in-store credit for your unused codes or any cards you want to give to them in bulk. Uh, of course, so if you're still looking to pick up PDCGO codes, you can pick them up over there. If you're maybe looking for a Clash codes, a Broken Bonds codes, Sword and Shield base set codes, uh, Hidden Fates codes, get them over at Car Cabin TCG. Um, you can also pick up any like promo codes, any specific GX or V code, or maybe, you know, in about a week's time when the Dedenne Trainer Kit comes out and they're in stock at Car Cabin, you can pick up the Dedenne Kit over there very soon too. If you get anything from there, guys, use my discount code, code LDF for the checkout for a 5% discount on your purchase. It greatly supports the channel, helps out Car Cabin, helps yourself out too. So shout out to Car Cabin, guys. Check them out and use code LDF. You can also uh, give the articles I post over there a read too if you want. Um, so yeah, let's take a look at the Electrovire list I've got here. Um, so yeah, it's a pretty cool attacker. It's got some pretty good synergy with speed lightning energy, which is one of the nice things about it. Um, and we have a, quite a few ways to build it up, though it has three energy, of course. We use Coco, uh, we use Electrify with Bolton. We also have Thunder Mountain to help us out too. Um, so yeah, pretty cool stuff. Um, it's your main attacker. <laughs> All right, pardon me for the sneezing. It's your main attacker. Um, and 180 damage isn't bad. Again, we have Electro Power. We also have Vitality Band, which means you can do 220 damage in total, which will one-shot a Zacian V, which is pretty relevant numbers. Even the first attack, Thundershock, isn't bad either. If you don't, if your opponent has no switches, um, Thundershock can buy you a turn, which is pretty good. Um, or it can set something up to be KO'd by the Electrified Bolt the next turn. Uh, some more stuff in the deck. Of course, we have Mew, Director Bench. I am playing Marshadow for the Chaotic Swell Bump uh, for the Thunder Mountain. I got some Jirachis. I would maybe consider playing three Jirachis. Um, I got one Zero Ore in the deck for like the free retreat. One Coco Prism, of course. I got two Bolt Hunts. It can be your backup attacker uh, with Bolt Storm. And of course, we can use Electrify to get a couple extra energy on our Electro, uh, Electrovire slash Electro Buzzes to help uh, build up the Electrovire a little bit quicker. A little quick, a little bit quicker. <laughs> Lol. Uh, going to the items now. We got four E powers for the damage. One Evo Incense, one Calm for Quick Balls uh, for Search. We need the Evo Incense because we are playing Electrovire. Friend Ball can go in here too because Lightning types are very popular. Um, I got one Great Catcher. Again, my the build I was playing with in the videos didn't have boss. I only had one Great Catcher, two Guzmahala instead of the one boss. But again, I didn't play the Gust the entire game. Um, but I got both Great Catcher and boss because Great Catcher finished off to Dene. Boss, you know, do its thing. Um, yeah, got Stadium Nav. I got um, a couple switches in the deck. I got one Tool Scrapper, very relevant because you want to get rid of Frying Pan on Zacian V or even Big Charm in general just to be able to take a knockout with the Electro uh, Electrovire with the Electro Powers and Vitality Band combo. Um, I am playing uh, Marnie Research. I got Volkner. I really like Volkner. Just again, Volkner guarantees you Electro Power, which is good. I mean, this a lot of the time you need Electro Power. Like a lot of the stuff you're gonna knock out are gonna have above 200 HP. So the Electro Power is really relevant. I like having Volkner, though the Volkner's not insanely good in here, but I do like having it. Um, Guzmahala, this is really good. I, again, I had two in the original build I did in the video, but uh, Guzmahala does guarantee you. Speed Energy and Thunder Mound, so it's a very good card in this deck. Um, I got some Escape Boards. One Vitality Band, once again, to be able to do 220 damage. One Capture Energy. Uh, four Speed Lightning. I'm playing five Special Energy in case maybe one gets discarded or we have to play it on something else. Because we do need the Special Energy for Electrovire to hit very hard. And I am playing eight Light Energy here for, like, Coco setup. But yeah, this is the Electrovire list I'm going with. It's a pretty fun little non-GX deck. Pretty good, pretty hard hitting. Um, yeah, let's go try it out. 
Okay, guys, jumping into our first match with Electrovire here. We're up against Leafa Bio with what looks to be a Pika deck, most likely. It could be something else. Like, every time I see Grass, I assume it's like an Eldegoss kind of deck, but I gotta remember, Eggrow is no longer... Like, you can't really play Eggrow right now because it doesn't work, so it's bugged, so we'll see. Um, could be a Zacian deck. I mean, he's got a Zacian coin. We do start with an Elective Buzz here, which isn't amazing. Actually, our hand's not bad. We can do a turn to Electrified Bolt here. Actually, it's not too bad. Um, oh, we're playing against a Butterfree Parasect deck. That's a bit of a bra moment. Um, I don't even remember if Butterfree's weak to Lightning or Fire. I can't remember. Oh, ooh, they started to detonate. Nice. All right, let's put Bolton down. Go here. We'll calm away the Electabuzz for probably just Jirachi. We'll just pass. So next turn, we can do Guzma Hala, and we can knock out the Dedene here with Electrified Bolt, which seems pretty good to me. Seems good to me. Unless they retreat it. Or something. I mean, this matchup, it's not really like an actual matchup, but like, it shouldn't be that hard to win. Oh, they're gonna Marnie me. That's a little annoying. Now we don't quite as easily have it. Okay, we're just gonna go, I think, research here and just hope for the best off of the research. I want to knock out the Dedenne here. That'd be really big. Knocking out Dedenne would be really, really good. Are they actually opting to put two Metapods down? Alright. And they just pass. Alright, what are we gonna draw? Okay, there's the Electrovire. We don't have to look for that anymore. That's good. Do we have Thunder Mountain in the deck? We do. So... I'm just gonna go research and hope for a uh, special energy and a thunder mountain, which we do actually hit, and we get the best special energy, speed energy. We can draw a couple extra cards. Go to the great catcher, I think, for another electabuzz. All right, this is looking pretty good. Put the thunder mountain down. So we'll put the marsh shadow in play. If we had an escape war. We could have went into Drachi here, but we're gonna electrify bolt for knockout, 180 damage on the Dedene. We're gonna get two prizes here. So yeah, not bad at all. Special Energy Electrified Bolt for the win. And let's see if my opponent can do anything here. They can definitely go Butterfree. They only have one Paris in play, which is pretty good for us. Uh, they're most likely going to bump my stadium. Like, it's, it's probably going to happen. Let's be honest. I, I don't see the Thunder Mountain sticking around forever, obviously. So I'm expecting to lose it. Oh, they actually pass. Okay, we can kind of continue our little Reign of Terror here. I'm just going to knock him out. I kind of want to keep the hand. I want to hold on to the switch for next turn. So I'm just going to kind of chill out. We could, I guess we can quick ball for Zero or in case of Marnie. But I mean, it's not looking good for my opponent at this point. The only thing we were really missing that turn, I guess, was an energy attachment. But uh, again, Electrovuzz, Electrovire, not going to knock down anytime soon. Yeah, it looks like we're just going to win the game here very soon. We're just going to go here. I'm just going to keep doing Electrified Bolt. <laughs> it is, yeah, my opponent concedes, I mean. Not bad, I guess, for, for one prizer. It's not, it's not, not a bad thing. All right, guys, get into another match here. We're up against Toyo with what looks to be a possible fire deck. This could be something like Baby Bolcephalon. That could be pretty hard. Um, okay, we probably should have went first because he's playing a Fuelder deck. That's fine, though. That's fine. Oh, revealing what we're playing, and we're playing the Electrovire. I wish Electrovire had a 4 tree cost. If you could put Buff Pad on this card, this card would actually be kind of decent because they don't have 190 HP, but... You can't put buff pattern on it, so it's not kind of decent. It can take a hit from Dragapult, though, I guess, which is, like, kind of interesting. Um, oof, this is uh, not a great hand. We can go Jirachi here. I don't know. I might just get the Electabuzz. Oh, they're playing Chandelure. Ah, speak of the devil, we actually just draw the Electabuzz. That works, too. So we're going to get Jirachi, I think. I think I'm still going to go Speed Energy. Try to maybe get a Switch. No. Okay. All right, we're playing against Chandelure. I mean, this we can win this as long as we take the first prize, I think. For sure. Just going to have to be one of those games where we have to take the first prize to win the game. Okay. I do want to hold my Thunder Mountain then, to be honest. I mean, we're probably going to have to retreat a Mew here. Retreat the Mew into the Electa Buzz. We also could knock out the Glossifer here with Electro Slug. If we can find a switch. I think I still I think I have to retreat though. 
All right. We actually could have uh, speed energy there into a switch. That's a little unfortunate. We'll Volkner here for... We can go to Dene next turn, right? Yeah. I'll have to do it to Dene next turn, it looks like. All right. Jirachi should survive here. Hopefully, they don't wear candy chandelure me. If they take the first prize, we're done for. Yo, they top decked the Lampin, bruh. What? Oh my gosh, that is nuts. All right, they're going to drizzle here. What are the odds those five cards, one of them is going to be a Chandelure. It's a Dust Stone. Bro, I can't, this guy top decked the Lampin, bro. That is nuts. Yeah, we get knocked out. We're going to lose the first prize. Which is not good. Unless they don't have energy, some like miraculous reason they actually don't have an energy here <sighs> let's see oh they have an energy okay well they actually do lose two stadiums which might mean our thunder mountain gets to stick for a bit which is good we can knock out the chandelier next turn with our electivire which seems pretty good assuming we can actually get an electivire though They're gonna knock me out. They do lose a Chandelure and an Inteleon, which are actually two good cards to see get discarded there. The Inteleon is kind of threatening. Uh, oh, there's the Electrovire. We just flat out top deck it. We're drawing some pretty nuts stuff this game, not gonna lie. I'm gonna play this. Let's go. We got a couple more Pokemon. Quick Ball here for the Dedene. Hopefully they don't play boss. I've not really invested much time into this deck, so I have no clue if these decks play boss or not. Um, how are we looking here? Okay. Another Electabuzz is good. We have a Marnie in our research. I think I'm just going to play research. I'm not going to bother Marnie them. Okay. Here we go. Electrified Bolt for the knockout. We'll see if they have another Chandelure. We did get rid of their uh, Stadium, but they have another Fire Energy in their hand, I guess. So we just got to hope they don't have a Chandelure. If we can take a couple prizes with Electrovire, we'll be able to catch back up. And I'm hoping they don't have a Counter Stadium. I, again, I don't really know these lists that well. Okay, nice. They don't have anything. Fortunately, we don't have a boss's order in our hand to gust up one of these uh, candles. Okay, this is really good. We're going to be able to get some more electrifiers powered up, which is pretty good. Is what we need. Yeah, we're going to play the research. We're just going to keep digging. Uh, still no boss's order. Alright, electrified bolt for the knockout. What's our prize? Okay, another energy is really good for the other electrifier. Okay, we'll see if they have the chandelure or not. I'm assuming they don't. If they don't have it, I mean, it's just looking really good for us. We're just gonna dominate. I think the worst thing that could happen for us is they counter my stadium. But we still have Coco Prism. We still have a couple other things. We should be okay if they counter my stadium. Really, I want to draw into a uh, boss's order here. That's what I really want to get. That's not a boss. All right, we'll speed energy. Not much there. We have a Guzma Hala. I'm just going to play this just to burn it. I'm not going to discard anything, though. Um... Oh, we actually... Do we not have Coco? Coco's prized? Oh, I didn't even realize. Okay, that might make things scary. There it is. Okay. I think what kind of hurts my opponent here... Oh, we prized our boss. I think what's hurting my opponent is... They have their bench completely full... After their first Chandelure attack. And it's uh, making it so that they just couldn't bench any other... Attackers in time. And now they're in top deck mode completely. So, that might have been the issue. Oh, they top deck a lamp. Which means they don't have Chandelure once again. Which is good. I mean, hey, it is what it is. You know what I mean? It is what it is. We're just going to take a knockout. Probably should play the escape board. All right, let's see if we get boss here. Nope. Yeah, but it looks like this game is going to be wrapped up very soon. My opponent definitely, I don't think it went at this point. Oh, well, they drew the uh, chandelure finally. Okay, so they can finally knock out my electrovire, but then we have another one coming their way. So they could Rosa here for chandelure, fire energy, if they play a third giant hearth, that's fine. We do have the Coco, so we'll just go Coco. They could play a reset stamp, actually. I Again, I haven't really 
put much time into looking at this deck before. I've never played it, so I, I actually don't. Yeah, they just concede, actually. Maybe they're out of chandelures. All right. Two wins in a row so far with Electrovire. Not too bad. All right, guys, let's get into another match with Electrovire here. We're playing against a possible Pika Rom deck here, most likely, which we'll see if we can actually take down a Pika deck with this Electrovire deck. Uh, we do go first. That can help. As long as we don't get a terrible start, we should be chilling. Well, thank you for putting a bunch of energy in my opening hand. All right, let's see. Okay. Oh, they're playing a Zacian deck. It's not Pika, it's Zacian. Well, our opening hand... It's not one... It's not to be desired. It is not amazing. Well... I guess it's okay. Hopefully Bolton doesn't get knocked out though by Jirachi. Oh, speak of the devil, he starts with it. Um you know, he's gonna scoop up netted though, which means it goes into his hand. That's pretty frustrating. Right, let's just get rid of Volkner here. Get Jirachi. Let's see what we prize. We have Coco. We have uh one electrifier prize. We have our Thunder Mountain, that's pretty important. Let's go here. Okay, we have our tool scrapper, that's really good too. I kind of wish we got a switch there for Jirachi, but whatever. So, I mean, I would honestly prefer to knock out the Jirachi here, so then he can't ever combo me. But Electro Buzz can one-shot Zacian. It is one of the possible things with this deck. Is That's why we, I do have the Tool Scrapper, because Electro Buzz, Electro Vire, can take out Zacian in one hit, possibly. So, that could be one thing we have going for us here. We'll see. We'll see what happens here, though. Um, the one thing I'm worried about, though, is obviously Intrepid Sword just getting three energy, even just two energy on a Zacian. Are they actually opt to not get Zacian? They're actually going to go to Guru, which is interesting. We'll see if they go combo here or if they just Dedene their hand away. Their hand might have been that bad, but if their hand was bad, I don't know why they wouldn't just do um, Zacian and just draw three cards with Intrepid Sword. Maybe they're not playing Zacian. No, they are. They got Metal Goggles. Okay, they primate the Jirachi, which is annoying because they can now combo possibly next turn. Okay, let's see if they go for the the Dene here. I'm gonna net the Oranguru, which means they can uh, they could combo here off this Dene. Let's see what they discard here. Three metals. Ah, oh, that's awkward because that's just metal saucer fuel. Which is not good. You don't like to see it. So you know one of those cards in their hand is a Jirachi. Let's see if they go Zacian. And they lose another metal, I mean. I guess the more they lose, the less energy they can hit on Intrepid Sword, which is kind of nice. Alright, they're just going to go for the big bad Zacian. And we just got to hope they don't hit a bunch of energy off Intrepid Sword. Please and thank you. Do not hit like 5 energy here. That would be just lovely. That would be amazing. But then the other annoying thing is they're obviously going to be able to find a boss's order and then they're going to be able to boss. I don't know. Let's we'll see if they have Mr. Mime. Nope. Okay, just Intrepid Sword. Which actually means either they put energy on top or they put a Jirachi. Okay, so yeah, it looks like they got no energy. It's minty fresh. Alright, we're just going to Marnie them, I think. Definitely don't want to discard that Tool Scrapper. Nice, we got two Electabuzz. We have an Electrify we can do, which I think I'm going to go for. Just get some energy in play. One here. Put one on the other Electabuzz. Seems good. We'll see if Bolton gets knocked out, though. Now, we did put their Jirachi. I'm pretty sure we put the Jirachi at the bottom of the deck. Like, I'm fairly certain it was in their hand there. So, it's at the bottom of the deck now, which is good. We did probably give them the knockout, though, on my Zacian, or my uh, Bolton with uh, Brave Blade. As long as they don't combo and take three prizes here, we should be okay. Again, we put their Jirachi at the bottom of the deck. Hopefully, that's enough. Hopefully. So, they're either going to... They could Marnie us. We definitely gave him a research, I think. We probably gave him a research here, I'm guessing. Because we gave him four more cards to work, or five more cards to work with. Because they top deck, right? Alright, Primate Wisdom. 
So then all we gotta do is go Vitality Band, Electro Power, knock out the Zacian with Electro uh, Electrifier. And that, that Electrifier was huge. It just gives us extra energy to work with, which is what we need. Maybe next turn, if Bolton lives, we could possibly research into a Great Catcher. Maybe we can knock out a Dene with uh, Bolt Storm. That would not be bad either. Or I could just do an Electrify and build up more Electri Electrifiers. There's a Friend Ball. They can get another Zacian here. So I don't think they play two to Dene. Okay, they get a Jirachi, actually. Never mind. Forgot they still have Jirachi with Stellar Wish. Okay, we probably gave him a switch or a... S well, they're down two nets, but we probably gave him a switch. Ooh, they are going to Marnie us. That's kind of bad. I, I did like that hand, but whatever. Let's see what this gives us. Okay, we still got research. That's chilling. We have that Electro Power 2 to do 210. Vitality Band, 220. So if they knock me out here and they don't put a Metal Goggles on, we could possibly knock out the Zacian here with Electrifier. Which I would like to do. We can also go Coco, actually, which I think we will do. I think we could Quick Ball for Coco. Yeah, low-key, I kind of want both of them to get knocked out here as long as they don't combo me. And as long as they don't put a Metal Goggles on. They put a Goggles on, that's going to be a little annoying because then we have to dig for a Tool Scrapper, which I don't like. But we can probably find it. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Let's see. They might just go Intrepid Sword, though. Let's see what they're doing. I really, I low-key want them to kill me here. They have no room for the combo right now. Yeah, it's going to trip a sword. They didn't get any energy off of it, which is good. Another Electro Power. I mean, we can just knock out the Jirachi here. Or we can go knockout, knockout, knockout. I'm just going to take the knockout on the Jirachi. Just put some pressure on them. Plus we get rid of their Stellar Wish. Hey, Stadium now. That's huge. We can get the, uh, we can get the, uh, the Thunder Mountain here. So, I'm, um, no, they Friend Ball. So the Drachi is no longer at the bottom of the deck. Ooh, no, they get rid of the Escape Board. Yo, that's a bit of a bra moment. They get rid of Vitality Man, technically, which is nice. They might have a boss's order here. That's what I'm really scared of. But I, I want them to knock out this. I actually wouldn't mind either if they go combo. Like, it's if it's more appealing to knock out the Bolt Hunt, I'm fine with that. We'll see what they go for here. If they decide to knock out Bolt Hunt or they boss's order this. Because I, I know they have a boss order in their hand. Like, bro. it's I know that boss is going to be in their hand, dude. I, 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 I can tell you right now they, they have boss in their hand. I am Nostradamus. Nope, they don't. Oh, okay, Brave Blade. Nice. They actually aren't comboing either. Um, we can promote Jirachi, I guess. I'm just gonna bring in the Electrifier. We, I wanna take a knockout here. Alright, let's just play this before we attach. Alright, nice. Thunder Mountain, come to our hand. Uh, we need Zeraora. Probably not. We can quick ball here for... I don't want to get Coco just yet. I think we just get another elective buzz. And double leaf power will do it. We don't need the Vitality Band right now. There's the Electro Buzz. There's a Tool Scrapper for next turn, which is good too. And alright, Electrified Bolt from the Knockout, 240. And let's see what we're going to get off the prizes. Jirachi, not really good. Switch is good. Okay, that lets us promote Jirachi. I'm glad I didn't promote the Jirachi either there. I mean, we had still a wish, I guess, off that research too. But if I didn't find the switch, that would have made things really awkward. Now, let's see if my opponent can build up that Zacian in one turn. Their hand is big enough, so I'm assuming they do have the knockout on my Electrifier. Like, there's no way they don't have a KO here. They have a huge hand, and they've only played one Saucer. So, we'll see if they have the KO. They definitely do, right? Like, they could go Skateboard, Double Saucer, Attach. With a hand that big, they have it. Now, we'll see if they have the counter stadium. They have the counter stadium. I think we gotta go Volkner for Quick Ball. Yeah, Volkner, Quick Ball, Coco. As long as, as, long as they don't reset Stam me, which I don't think Combo Zacian plays reset, so we should be okay. But no, we still need to knock out the Zacian again, though, don't we? Yeah, I don't know. We'll see what Stellar Wish gives us. If Thunder Mountain sticks, I think we can play out this turn pretty well. Uh, did they fail that quick ball? I think they did. Ooh, it looks like that's good. Maybe no combo. Maybe they prize Mr. Mime. I don't know why. I, I don't know. They haven't done the combo yet. I would have expected the combo last turn. 
Ooh, research. No metal saucer in their hand. And they have to lose a boss's order and two switch. That's some pretty good stuff right there. So yeah, as long as they don't reset stamp me, we can get rid of that, uh, we can get rid of that frying pan. Yeah, see, they got the double saucer. All they need now is to move this Mew. They've already attached, so we'll see if they have the switch or scoop up net or a skateboard. If they don't have it, I mean, we can take another prize, which is pretty good. If we draw a skateboard, we can switch into Jirachi and try to hit a boss's order and knock out the Zacian. But I think I'd rather just knock out Zacian and knock out Dene. That's like my game plan here. We still have our great catcher though, so we'll see. Okay, they do have a switch. Which is fine. I don't mind getting knocked out. They didn't bump my stadium, which means we are going to hopefully get a knockout here. We need to get Electro Power or Vitality Band to knock out this, this Zacian. Okay, we can go to Dene, which is good. Hmm, I don't know what I want to do first. But I'll do this first. Okay, nice. We got the Vitality Band. We don't have to even go to Dene here. How many special energies are left for the other Electabuzz? Electabuzz? Three? Okay, we're chilling. Boom. Switch. And this is why I like this, this, why I like the Vitality Band and the E-Power combo. Just like that, Zacian's gone. And, uh, yeah, they, uh, are down, I think, three saucers here, I'm pretty sure. There we go. Those are two good prizes. They're down three saucers, right? Yep, yeah, so... They cannot attack me again with the uh, Zacian, which is pretty much game, I think, at this point. All we have to do is just try to find the uh, boss's order, knock out to Dene. And that should be game. Well, to be fair, we probably... Oh, no, we can just knock out anything, actually. Right? I, forgot we I forgot we took that Bolton knockout earlier. Which is good for us. But yeah, that's 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 the Electrovire deck. This is why I like this uh, little Electrovire Vitality Band Electro Power combo. When I was building this deck, I was like, Electrovire can do 180. If we play an Electro Power and play Vitality Band, we can knock out a Zacian V in one hit, which we did. And they concede. We get 10 coins. I can actually buy a pack from the shop, which I think I'm gonna do. And I'm gonna wrap up the video, guys. I'm recording this on Father's Day, and I don't really have that much time to make a video right now, so. Uh, I'm just gonna keep this one a little bit shorter than the usual because again, it's Father's Day I got some stuff to do with my dad um, Very soon, so I don't have a lot of time to make a video. So I'm just gonna get a pack from the shop Unleashed or triumphant or call it undaunted low-key. I want to reverse all vile plume. We're gonna get undaunted I'm done with the unleashed Because I got three I got the 600 coins on the ladder and I bought three unleashed packs and I pulled a king to prime Which I needed and I pulled another half of the Raikou Suicune legend, which I also need so Pretty cool stuff. So let's open up this uh, Undaunted pack here and hopefully get a Reverse Hall of Vile Plume or something. Ooh, Umbreon Foil. I mean, that's not bad. I mean, this card's not that great right now. It's not a bad pull. Like, I'll take it over like a bad, like a bad card. Anyways, that'll wrap up the video, guys, on the deck. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Again, a little bit of a shorter one, but we won three games of Electrovire deck. We beat the Zacian deck, and I'm glad we played against Zacian because it shows off the combo that I wanted to use the most, which was Electrovire, Vitality, and Electropower. Uh, any change that I make to this deck probably would just be take out a Guzma Hala. Uh, I don't think two is probably overkill, but again, it gets the Thunder Mountain and the Special Energy. I think we can cut a Guzma Hala, though, for... Maybe a third Jirachi. We could play Ordinary Rod, but I don't think we need it. I don't know. Zapdos, maybe? I don't really know. But yeah, that'll be it for the video, guys. If you enjoyed today's piece of video, guys, drop a like on the video. Subscribe down below if you're new to the channel. Coming on the road to reaching 9,000 subscribers. Check out our sponsor, Car and TCG, down below, too. Make sure you use code LDF for the checkout if you get any codes there. Uh, you can follow me on Twitter down below, too, if you haven't already. Thanks for watching the video, and I'll see you guys in another video.